I'm Mark Irwin, the pitmaster in the Russia Smokehouse. It's a very historical building, it's 250 years old. And we've been open for two years, just won our first award, hopefully the first of many. We're the number one rated barbecue restaurant in the country and uh, we run a very, very tight ship. And we're going to get a grand tour. Yeah, and, uh, this is our custom built smokehouse. And um, we're going to show you around. So everything here is custom built for us. Smoke and Soul did our smoker, uh -huh. uh, the best uh, smoker manufacturers on the island. Hello, I'm Harry. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Harry, this is James. Oh, James, James, nice to meet you. you. Hi, hello. <laughs> this other James. Other James, two James, okay. Two James. So the original part of the building is in here. Ah. Um, they don't build these anymore. This is 250 years old almost. Okay. It's an original okay. Irish Orig pub. Irish pub. This is the restaurant. Uh -huh. We have a mezzanine here and another floor overhead. Overhead, wow. And then we can see about 200 outside as well. Okay. And it's mostly full out somewhere. Now the name of the restaurant, is that your name? No, it's the Roche, that is, it's the owner's name. So DJ and Yvonne Roche are the owners. Mm -hmm. And um, the Roche is the Irish for Roche. And that is, is that him on the wall? Uh, no, no, that's uh, Yvonne's dad and oh. their son. Yeah. Okay. Show us how the rabbit tastes. Amazing, absolutely beautiful, very tender. Tastes like chicken for people no. who have never had rabbit in America. What, how will you describe it? One. Duck, gamey. 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 Very gamey. Bit like duck, maybe. Um, delicious. Wonderful. Rory's taste of the brisket. This is actually the ribs, I think. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Tender. Beautiful. Very, very tender, followed by tender. sweet, beautiful. What have you had yet? This is the beef cheese. Beef cheese, ah. you can grab a bite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Spot on. Mm. Spot on, yes. Is that brisket nachos? Venison nachos. Venison nachos. Venison nachos. Venison nachos. Wow, this is really amazing. I've never had venison nachos before. It's going to be out of the out. What do you call it, nachos? That's the venison nachos. Venison nachos, right? It's good. Yeah. Wow. Tastes a little bit like ground beef. Super well flavored, subtle hint of heat, pairs very beautifully with a crispy chip here. So really, really good item. Let me try it in the pate next. So for people not aware what pate is, how do you describe pate? Lads, how would you describe pate? How do you describe pate? Pate is sort of a, like a, a terrine. Uh, terrine, a terrine. Like, yeah. and uh, the origin is in Europe, I think France. The French people like yeah. to do terrines. Yeah. And uh, this pate is made from a uh, pheasant. Wild pheasant. Wild pheasant. So the collagen that you see here on the side is rendered from the fat of the animal and uh, it's cooked into a kind of a little pudding and then it's refrigerated. So it's a cold terrine served on a bit of a... Cornbread. A cornbread, okay, cornbread. Right, let me take a picture of that. It has a very luxurious feel, very creamy and uh, really tremendous flavor of herbs and minced meat together with that fat and the collagen, so really, really good. I got some of their signature smoked sausage, some of their brisket, pulled pork, and some of their ribs. Mm, wow. So I'm just gonna top it up with some of their signature barbecue sauce. Because we don't know the recipe. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's the smoked in the pit. It's, it's smoked in the pit as well, and it's nice, sweet, it's really hard to describe it, but it's a bit tangy, but sweet, but the smokeness comes really through, and I think that would make it really such as nice sauce like just the nice crunch on the sausage on the skin perfectly cooked nice little smoke ring on it yeah that's why they win awards like i never tried before which is uh swordfish <laughs> yep definitely a southern style jambalaya sauce um it tastes like it's a holy trinity of bell peppers, 
onions, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. So, and uh, the sauce is cooked to a kind of a, like a gumbo consistency. You can see it's beautiful, right? Absolutely delicious. So now let me try this thing. Is uh, this is the is it duck 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 wild wild wild, wild duck is it? Wild duck from Ireland. So the taste test here. Okay, the duck is not very gamey. Has a really mild flavor, but it has a kind of touch of uh, ironiness and gaminess that comes with from a wild animal. So when you eat a wild duck, you, it's almost like you're consuming the vitality of the animal that used to be flying across the sky. This is really a real treat. I've never had wild duck because everything I buy is from the grocery store. But this is absolutely amazing. Having some wild duck, amazingly prepared by Pitmaster Mark. And here I tried this beef cheek. I cook a lot of beef cheek. Uh, it's very common, but first time having beef cheek in Ireland. Looks super tender and moist. Look at that. And uh, let's give it a taste test. Super tender, moist, beefy. Just a kiss of smoke. So not too strong. Um, Chef, Chef Mark has allowed the flavor of the beef to come through the beef cheek. You taste a little bit of a little bit of an ironiness to it, which is characteristic of beef cheek. Absolutely, absolutely amazing food here. So Hari, this is your first real Irish barbecue smoker experience. Mm -hmm. You have eaten more barbecues than everyone in Ireland put together. <laughs> You've been in every barbecue restaurant from Aaron Franklin to Snow's Barbecue, every famous barbecue restaurant we all know and love from YouTube. Yes. How does this compare? Absolutely a world class. So a world class barbecue here in Ireland. Never imagined that I would come here in the middle of nowhere two hours from town and meet Pitmaster Mark and have some really amazing, amazing food. Thanks for the experience.